Okay, so now we're going to discuss the uh, module 4 of the business finance, which is the financial pro planning process. Okay, so... So financial planning process. So let's start with... Okay, so what you know, answer the preface. And then, how do you see yourself five years from now? Okay, you can write a short essay in your notebook. Okay, so let's start with the planning. So, in our everyday life, in your everyday lives, I believe, nagpa-plano kayo kung ano isusuog ninyo, kung ano ang gagawin nyo sa araw na iyon. Especially right now na we are all doing activities at home. So, it is very important that you plan your activities for the day. So, you also have your weekly home learning plan. So, you could also follow that in doing your activities. So, kung ano yung gagawin nyo ng lunes, ano yung mga subject nyo tuwing lunes, yun yung gagawin ninyo, tuwing martes, yun yung gagawin ninyo. And sometimes to avoid then na magkahalo-halo yung mga gagawin ninyo. So, to avoid din na may makaligtaan kayong gawin. So, you follow a plan. So, in finance, we have financial planning. So, what is this financial planning? So, financial planning is applied in both public finance and business finance. All entities, whether business, or for profit, or non-profit organization, undertake financial planning. So, we have long-term plans and short-term short plans. So, short long-term plans, so these are a set of goals that lay out overall direction of a company. So, what are our long-term plans? So, at least 10 years from now, we have at least 5 branches all over Nueva Ecija, 10 branches in Luzon. Say, for example, that is your long-term plan for your business. So, long-term financial plan is an integrated strategy that takes into account various departments such as sales, production, marketing. So, lahat ng ating functional division which was discussed in uh, module 1. So, lahat yon meron silang strategy to achieve long-term plans. Okay, how about short-term plans? So, specify short-term financial act actions and the anticipated impact of those actions to the long-term plan. So, every short-term plans, kailangan meron siyang impact or kailangan makatulong siya in achieving your long-term financial plans. Okay? So, part of short-term financial plans include setting the sales forecast, especially for the year, and other forms of operating and financial data. So, this would translate into operating budgets, cash budgets, pro forma, financial statements. Okay, so you on C long term as C short term financial plans. Okay, so long term planning versus short term planning. So ayun siya. You could at least have this in your module din naman. So discuss na lang din natin ng habilis. So long term, ito siya. And short term, ito siya. So more participation from top management for long term planning. Time period. 2 to 10 years, level, level of detail, so less, and then direction of the company ang focus niya. In short-term financial planning naman, so we have top management is still involved, but there is more participation from lower level management. So one year or less, so ang level of detail niya is more, so we are very specific with detail kapag short-term planning. And then, everyday functioning of the company, ang kanyang focus. Okay? So, planning process are as follows. So, we have set goals or objectives. So, for corporations, long-term and short-term objectives are usually identified. So, vision statement states where the company wants to be, while the mission statement states the plans on how to achieve the vision. So, let's have Jollibee for example. So, vision mission statements are as follow. So, ang vision daw niya ay to excel in providing great tasting food 
that meets local preference better than anyone, to become one of the three largest and most profitable restaurant companies in the world by 2020. So, by this year yon. So, yun daw yung vision niya ni JFC. So, mission. So, to achieve the vision, ano ang kanyang mission? To serve great tasting food, bringing the joy of eating to everyone. So, yan po ang kanyang set of goals and objectives under the vision and mission. Next is the identify resources. Ano yung mga resources na kailangan natin? So, we have uh, production capacity, human capital, and then identify goal-related task. So, ano yung mga task ng bawat function ng company natin? So, ano ang magiging function ni human resource, ni production, ni marketing, ni operations? So, kailangan i-identify natin yung mga goal ng bawat isa at magbigay tayo ng task sa kanila na kailangan nilang ma-achieve. And then next, establish responsibility centers for accountability and timeline. So, ganito ang target ni marketing. Ganito ang target ni production. Okay? So, you have accountability and timeline. And then, next, establish the evaluation system for monitoring and controlling. Uh, for corporations, the management must establish a mechanism which allow plans to be monitored. So, lahat naman kailangan nating evaluate if meron tayong hindi nagawa, ano ang kailangan nating or ano ang ating mga doon na papasok si SIX. Ano ang ating mga contingency plans? Doon sa mga hindi natin nagawa na na-identify natin no ating monitoring. So, in planning, contingency must be considered as well. Okay? So, budgets and financial, projected financial statements are anchored by assumption. So, kailangan natin mag-assume. So, assume natin na by yun, 2020, kailangan isa tayo sa, ano sabi niya? Three largest and most profitable restaurants. So, yeah, assume natin yan. So, if these assumptions do not become realities, management must have alternative plans to minimize the adverse effect on the company. So, now, we go to the financial planning process. So, this organization conduct financial planning as underscored by the concept of goal setting in monetary terms. So, where will the business be in terms of financial performance 5 to 10 years from today? So, ito yung steps na pwede yung sundin natin kung mag magkakaroon tayo ng financial planning. Okay, so, first, business makes explicit assumption on the future levels of the following items. So, we have the sales, the cost, the production cost, operating expenses, capital expenditure, Borrowing and interest. So, ito yung mga kailangan nating magbigay uh, ng assumption. Uh, assumption could be uh, gathered from previous uh, history or previous years. Magkano na naging sales ng last year, magkano ang cost ng production. So, yun. And then, also, next, the projected financial statements, which I believe you already mastered in your accounting. So, we have the statement of comprehensive income, statement of financial position, a statement of cash flow. So, uh, I'm not gonna require you to do this three, but I am requiring you to analyze. So, I'm, I'm gonna give comprehensive income, financial position, cash flow, and then you are going to analyze and uh, somehow project kung magkano siya. Let's say, for example, I will give two years ng comprehensive income. Ipoproject nyo kung for next year, magkano ang pwede niya maging comprehensive income. So, financial position for two years, ito yung financial position niya. So, ano ang magiging uh, assumption ninyo? So, explicit assumption for the next years using the data of the previous two years. Okay? So, ganun po siya. Next, projected financial statements are commonly analyzed. So, as I said earlier, so, interpreted using financial ratio. So, uh, in the following modules, mag-discuss tayo ng mga financial ratios, liquidity, um, uh, profitability ratios. And then, general financial plan is evaluated and reviewed by top-level management for improvement 
taking into account present trends and development in external environment. So, like now, so the external environment natin is major disturbed because of the pandemic, dahil kay COVID. So, staff level management ay kailangan niya mag uh, do improvements or create plans for improvements. And then, ito yung mga steps, okay, na discuss ko, itong apat na ito, so ito siya. So, as a diagram, para mas madaling maintindihan. So, step one, so sila sales cost. Step two, preparation of projected financial statement. Uh, analysis, evaluation, review, and evaluation of projected financial plan. So, lahat ng ito ay... Yeah. So, naka-direct kay mission and vision. Okay? Ayan siya. So, lahat ng mga gagawin natin, eh, kailangan ma-achieve natin si mission and vision. So, this is the financial planning process. Okay. So, next. So, ayan. A closer look at the financial planning process reveals that the whole process is basically a preparation of projections. So, lahat, mag-project tayo kung ano mangyayari by next year using the previous year. So, hence, financial planning is usually equated with projection or forecast. Okay, so, after this, you have an activity, so event planning activity. So, this one, I am not requiring you to do this since uh, some of you uh, cannot uh, have a communication with, with each other since medyo mahinang internet connectivity natin dito sa ating locality. So, skip na natin si activity 1. So, you can start with uh, activity 2. And then, what I have learned. So, uh, future plans. Uh, create your own visualization board that signifies your future plans 5, years, uh, five to 10 years from now. Um, you can use uh, photos of, let's say, if you wanted to become a flight attendant in the future, you can use a photo of a flight attendant. So, this is me in the future. Okay? So, uh, also, uh, you can cut in a magazine a uh, house if you wanted to have a nice house uh, after 10 years. Car, if you wanted a car. Okay? You can create it in... Uh, colored paper and then attach it to your notebook. Okay, so that would be your what I can do. And then you have your assessment. Okay, so additional activity. Okay, you can do this also. Write it in your notebook. So, so these are our references. So that ends the module 4. So I'm going to discuss next the module 5 of business finance.